Hi there, Brian McNichols here from touringplans.com and I am in Disney's Art of Animation Resort because I want to tell you the five things that we love about Disney's newest and best, but that's another list, value resort. Number five, it's actually right here, it's this lobby. And I know it's not as grand or sweeping as say like Animal Kingdom Lodge, but the attention to detail here and the dedication to the years and years of Disney animation. Okay, maybe the lights aren't great, but those drawings are fantastic. There are more over here, but the real prize is above us here. All of these sketches in this chandelier that are real honest-to-goodness sketches done for these animated movies. I'm sure you see some you recognize up there. And most of them are signed. They're all recognizable. Little Mermaid, Cars, Finding Nemo, most people pass right through the lobby just to check in, but it's really worth taking a few extra minutes and just looking around. There's also little things they teach you how to draw at different times of the day. There's a character artist that is here from 9.30 to 6. Teach to draw classes are 11, 2, and 5. It says it on the sign right behind me. The number four thing that we like about Art of Animation is all the extras that make it a little bit more fun for the kids who maybe don't aren't as interested in the theming. Uh, of course, one of them is this, something you'll find at a lot of resorts, the arcade. But this one is a pretty sizable arcade. It goes way back there. There are a lot of games. It is usually full of children. It's a little bit early in the day, as I normally will do these. And I should mention at this point, too, that in these top five lists, I don't include things like restaurants, and yes, I know I tend to shoot all of these early in the morning, mostly because I'm in the parks during the rest of the day, but you still get to see the stuff and I get to film with not too many people here. But this isn't the only thing they have for kids. They also have a few small playgrounds for the kiddos, like this Nemo themed one with slides and tunnels to climb through out here behind the big blue pool, which you'll see in a minute. The number three thing that I like about Art of Animation, well, okay, I don't personally like it, but I could see why other people would. And it is this, the New Balance Running Trail. This is a trail of uh, distance unknown. It doesn't say it. I think it's a little over a mile, but don't quote me on that. It goes all the way around Hourglass Lake, which is kind of part of number three here. Hourglass Lake is the big hourglass shaped lake no duh, that is in between Art of Animation and Pop Century. See, there's Art of Animation right there. That's part of the Nemo building. And over on this side of the lake is Pop Century. In between at the moment is where they are putting up the new Skyliner, the uh, Disney gondola system. So there's a few more walls and floaty things than there normally would be. But if you are a runner, this is a really good place to get a nice flat, easy run in before walking like 20 miles in the park. I, I'll just get my miles in the park. I'm good. Number two on our list are the pools here at Art of Animation, the biggest of which is this one, the big blue pool. And it's pretty big and blue. It makes sense. Now it's a little early. It's not open. In fact, I think it might just be open now because I just heard the music come on. But either way, you get a good idea and you know, I'll put some pictures in here too. But it's not the only pool here. There's also the Cozy Cone pool in the Cars section, and there's a pool in the Little Mermaid section. So you have three to choose from when you're staying here. You can swim in any of them. The number one thing about this resort is the theming. Unlike the other value resorts where they kind of just put big, larger than life things, here they actually theme most of the areas to the movie. I am in the Cars section right now with some movie stars like Tow Mater here and his towing and salvage place. This is what the whole cars area looks like. Over here we have the Cozy Cone Motel offices and the sign telling you what it is. There are signposts for Route 66. Over here we have Ramon. I don't remember that one's name off the top of my head, but I'm sure. I'm sure there are parents and their children yelling at me. And then over there, 
Luigi and his Tower of Tires. Over here is Sally and Lightning at the Wheel Well Hotel. You know, these are like, these are actually things from the movie that fit in here. And yes, they're a little bigger than life, but that's because of the movie. They're car sized. They're, it's not that, just that they put a giant Mickey Mouse telephone. Sorry, Pop Sentry. Oh, here's Sarge over here. What's up, Sarge? They don't talk back. And that's it for this week. Thank you for watching. Be excellent to each other.